Hello everybody, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. I am so happy to be here stamping with you tonight. I'm going to switch my glasses so I can read the comments that come in. Happy July 10th. Boy, July is getting away from us quickly, isn't it? Oh my gosh. I had just a few little technical difficulties getting on tonight, so I apologize for being a little bit late. Um, my screen wouldn't turn, and I don't like doing videos up like this. I like doing them in the TV mode, and I was like starting to panic. Thank goodness I did not start having a hot flash because I was like, well, maybe we're gonna have to go this way tonight. But I must have touched the lock your screen on my phone by accident, or maybe Little Miss Valerie did it. <laughs> and so my screen was locked and it wouldn't turn sideways. And it's always a better view when I can come to you this way. So I am going to find my live right here and get that popping up so that I can see all your comments coming in. <laughs> So, wow, was it a busy week. My goodness. Um, let's see. I was not live last week, but I did make a Facebook Live not live video for you guys. And I heard from so many of you that you really enjoyed it. So thank you so much. I'm so glad that you got the opportunity to watch that. And that I had the opportunity to make it for you because I hate to leave you guys high and dry on a Sunday night. I hear from so many of you that this is your entertainment and it starts your week off good. And um, I like being part of that. <laughs> so I had a birthday on Thursday, woohoo! And um, it was kind of funny because I thought that I was 57 prior to my birthday. I was thinking about it, I'm like, how old am I? Like, who cares, right? Who cares at this point? And I'm like, I think I'm 57, so that means I'm going to turn 58? Wow. And then I found out that I wasn't 57. I was actually 56. So now I'm 57. So, and you guys know anytime you say, well, how long have you and Steve been married? I know this year we've been married for 30 years because, you know, it's kind of a, it's a big deal. 30 but prior to this, it's like, I don't know how many years we've been married. Steve knows. Steve knows all that stuff. <laughs> I also heard from a lot of you that I share the same birthday with you or your kids or your grandkids. It was a great day in 1965. <laughs> so, um, let's see. What do I have for you tonight? I have a couple. Oh, I have a fun fold that we're going to be doing. And then I have a really super pretty card that I'm going to be sharing with you. And um, I got, oh, and I have tons of birthday cards to share with you. So um, <laughs> I, you guys know how to make a girl feel grand. I'll tell you that because I got so many birthday cards that Steve tried to pull the workers comp card on me again. He said, I hope that's it for birthday cards for you because my wrist is getting sore. <laughs> I said, oh really? He's like, yeah, I don't want to have to file workers comp claim against you. And so we laughed and laughed. And um, then he told me that he needed a new shaver for his head. We have one of those little, like, it's a little like, I don't know what you call it, a guy that you're, and it shaves his head really close after I shave it with the shaver, because I, I do all his haircuts. And um, he said, yeah, I'm pretty sure that if you buy me a new shaver, that I won't file a lawsuit. <laughs> Can you believe that? Like, how outrageous is he? And then we laughed and laughed. Um, other things happening around here. Got some plants for Molly's. Oh my goodness, she needs clothes on. Why? Uh, because... She just does. She needs some clothes on. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, I can't show a naked baby on here. Can you say hi to everybody up here? Can you say hi? Everybody's watching you. This is little Miss Valerie. Can you say hi? She just woke up from a nap. And she doesn't have any clothes on. Granny's working right now. 
She got to show all the people the pretty cards. Yeah. Can you say hi? Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. A little bit of hi. They all know you. Yeah. And all your cute little pictures. Which, by the way, did you guys see the post that I did about the little diva with her purse? And you guys trying to guess what was in her purse? Well, let me see if I can pull my computer up here. Hang on just a second, because I'm going to reveal now. Nobody got nobody got it right. Nobody guessed. Do you remember all the things you put in your purse? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So this is what she did. She packed all this stuff in her purse, getting ready to come over to Granny's house. Five, four, four shoes. That's what she needed to load up in her purse to bring to Granny's house. So that's pretty funny, right? Oh my gosh. Okay, guess what? Yep, I dropped my glasses, didn't I? You're gonna go with Papa, okay? Okay. Say bye, everybody. Say bye-bye. Oh, you're always so talkative and now you're like camera shy. What's happening? Huh? What's happening? Can Granny get smooches? Okay. Go by Papa. Come on, sweetie. Love you. Oh. Bye. Bye. Mm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, that was a nice little surprise. Yeah, isn't that funny what she had in her purse? She had all those shoes. That's what she needed to load up to come to my house. So, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of cute. <laughs> um, we have a catalog kickoff that started on July 6th. If anybody would still like to get into that, everything is on a Facebook page. And um, we have two card challenges out there already. People are making cards using the parameters in the challenge and posting them. There are tons of prizes being given away. This, or this catalog kickoff lasts from the 6th of July to the 23rd. There is mystery stamping happening. And you have until, I think, the tw uh, 22nd to put your cards in the challenge to do the mystery stamping. Um, I know Barb just loaded up a gallery. There's about 45 cards that will be loaded into a um, gallery. 45 cards using holiday or the January, or I'm sorry, July through December mini catalog. So just tons and tons of beautiful inspiration for this new catalog. These kickoffs are a blast. There will be seven live classes in the kickoff. And don't worry if you can't watch something live. It's all recorded. You can come to the Facebook group and watch it whenever you want. And you have access for it forever. As long as Facebook leaves our page up, you will still have um, access to it. So... If anybody would like to get into the catalog kickoff, it's $15. If you are a team member, it's free. And if you are a member of the Stamp Happy Academy website, which is only $19.95 a month, it's free. So um, somebody says my voice is not in line with the video. So I don't know what that's all about. That's weird, huh? That's a little distracting, right? Um, nothing I can do about uh, streaming. Is that happening for everybody? Does everybody notice that? Um, yeah, there's also a card swap in the catalog kickoff. That's a lot of fun. So anybody needs information on that, contact me. My email address is kelly at a stamp above dot com. Okay. And then um, there's also make and take packets available. The make and take packets are $49. There is a discount for team members. And you get $30 in product with your make and take packet. And there's going to be nine pre-cut everything to make nine cards in the make and take packet. So it's a pretty cool deal. It's always fun when somebody else cuts your cardstock. <laughs> I can tell you that. <laughs> I love kit type things because somebody else cut my cardstock and it's wonderful. All right. Um, <clears throat> Ringed with Nature is a new bundle in the annual catalog. We also have, so, I think, no, maybe it's in the mini catalog. Oh, I think it's in the mini catalog. 
We also have um, some celebration product that goes with that that you can get for free. That is going to be my online class for the month of July. My kit class is um, Happiness Abounds. And my online class that I do with Barb and Dina is Ringed with Nature. And so I will have information coming out about that like probably this week. I didn't get as much done today as I had hoped um, because Haley and Jared are working just feverishly on their house to get it where they want it to be before they move in at the end of the month. And thank you, Patty, for telling me that uh, my voice is fine. So whoever said that my voice is not matching my lips, you can pretend that it's one of those, um, wasn't it the Chinese movies that did that? <laughs> Do you remember watching those? Maybe I dated myself now. But um, it's your streaming on your end. It's not It's not an issue on my end. So just know that this, sometimes that happens. There's really nothing you can do about it. If you find it too annoying, you can wait until I get this uploaded to YouTube and watch it, and then you probably won't have those problems. But um, so watch her ring of nature coming this week. And <clears throat> excuse me, I wanted to let you guys know the third round of catalogs went out this last last week. So um, yeah, Japanese. Okay, Japanese movies. Yes. Um, so if you have signed up to get a catalog with me, they did, uh, they're all out in the mail. Um, you should have received them if you signed up prior to last week. And if you need catalogs, let me know. There is a link that I can give you. Again, just email me. There's a link that I can give you to register to get the new catalog from me. So I'm happy to send them to you. Okay. Oh, let's see celebration is in full swing oh my gosh you guys let me see if I can grab it oh it's stuck look I have blue dots stuck to everything <laughs> celebration is happening right now and if you have this brochure one of the things that it talks about on the on the inside back cover is our beautiful beautiful planner the making plans collection now, if you are not getting a discount on your product, if you are not on another Stampin' Up! team, you really should give it a thought because for $99, you can get $125 in product, anything you want, and join my team where you will get to be in my team for at least six months. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I got like a frog in my throat. Plus, when you join during celebration, which goes until the end of August, you get this amazing planner. And it is a three-ring binder. I'm going to pull these pages out here. It is a beautiful three-ring binder. I'm sure it's vinyl, but it feels like leather. So it's really, really pretty. And somebody asked me if they have refills for this once the, the planner year that is included with it is over. Um, I haven't heard anything from Stampin' Up! about refills, but what I can tell you is that the holes that are poked in here are very standard for planners. So you can order or go to an office supply store and get planners that will fit in this binder once this one is done with, you know, the current year. So if you join my team, you not only get to choose $125 in product, for $99, you get free shipping on that. You also get a minimum 20% discount on all your future orders. And, oh, no refills. Sarah Douglas said no refills. Thank you very much. Um, I didn't think so. Um, plus, you get to be part of something much bigger. What I do for you guys here is super fun, but there is so, so much that goes on behind the scenes for my team. Um, we have a team meeting coming up this Tuesday. I have a ladybug challenge happening where um, people are going to be winning tons of product from me. New product. Yay! And um, that's going to be a lot of fun. But I have a Zoom meeting. It's on Zoom. So no matter where you live in the country, you can attend the meeting. Um, we do uh, show and tell. That's my favorite. We do mystery stamping. Um, there's all kinds of stuff that happens behind the scenes on my team, which is just a ton of fun to be part of. So if you've ever given it a thought, 
this is the time to do it before the end of um, the end of August. I'm trying to read your comments and talk at the same time. And it's kind of like, you know, chewing. No, how, what is that? Patting your head and rubbing your belly? I can't do that either. <laughs> I'm not that, not that talented. But anyways, um, yeah, who just said that the calendar goes until the end of 2023? I think D, did D just say that? Denise. And um, Lisa, thank you. Lisa just said, Kelly's team is a lot of fun to be on. It really is. We have a great time. And um, I, I know you'll love it. So you can give it a try. There's no strings attached. If you decide that you don't want to continue, that's fine. Um, you can continue to be my customer. You can continue to follow me and watch my videos. I always appreciate that. There's no hard feelings. People come and go and they do what's right for them. And that's the most important thing is I want you to do what's right for you. But if you're a stamper and you're not getting a discount on your product, that's not right. <laughs> you should be. <laughs> you can also build a business. Okay. So that's entirely possible. I can't make any claims about that because the, the, um, the industry that we're in is kind of clamping down on saying that, oh, I make this much money and I do that and I do this. We can't do that. I would not ever try to mislead anybody. You guys know that I work super, super hard. And what the the success that I have accomplished here is not the norm. Just know that. <laughs> I mean, work really, really, really hard. So... Anyway, celebration is going on. For every $50 that you spend in the celebration brochure, you get to earn free product. And oh, I forgot to mirror my screen, but I'll tell you what, I was having so many problems getting on here tonight that I know you guys don't like it when I don't mirror it. And I quite frankly can't remember how to do it. So I'm not even going to try tonight, but just... just know that I know that you would like me to switch my screen around so that this isn't isn't oh Haley says she works insanely hard I do <laughs> thanks Haley um but anyways that's why things are backwards and I'm not going to mess with this when I put my phone in the holder to look down at my desk everything will be right side up so ah uh, Shelby it's so good to see you on here um anyways <clears throat> fifty dollars you get free stuff so you're gonna find your little your little um icon right here this is free with the fifty dollar order this is free with the $50 order. And if you haven't gotten those hippos with the dyes yet, oh my gosh, they're the best. I love them. Um, so we've got lots of little free things with the $50 order, but I want you to pay attention to the ones. This is free with a $100 order, okay? This is a very large stamp set. It's got 17 different stamps in it. We also have a beautiful, hang on. Um, these dies, oh my goodness, lots and lots of dies free with a $100 order. And then we also have the stamp set with the matching designer series paper. This is also free with a $100 order. So there's things in here with a $100 order. There's things in here with a $50 order. I just want to make sure that you know what's happening there. And again, if you need these catalogs, if you are, if you, first of all, if you're my customer, I did a new thing this time around with catalogs. You need to sign up for them to get them. So if you didn't get catalogs yet and you're wondering why didn't she send me catalogs, please contact me and I will get you the link to register for new catalogs, okay? But if you're new to stamping or you don't have a demonstrator, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to send these to you. You will absolutely love them. And I'm trying to read here what's happening. Um, same things as customers do. Oh, Lisa is answering questions. Lisa, you're always the best about that. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that you lose as a customer when you join a team. That is the coolest thing about Stampin' Up. We still get all the benefits. And when you join as a team member, it's kind of double dipping. So it's a little better. When we have a clearance rack and we have stuff that's 50 or 60 or 70% off, we get our 20% discount. Your discount goes up the longer you stay, and it also goes up the more that you sell. So on top of a sale item, then we get 20% off the sale price. And we get to order 30 days, usually 30 days a month in advance from the public, which is really cool too. 
There's just so much stuff, you guys, so much that you would absolutely love it. Give it a try. If you have an order that you're putting in around $100, like I said, you're going to pay $99 and get to choose $125. It is a no-brainer, I've been known to say. <laughs> All right, I'm going to set my planner over there. Oh, it looks like it's going to storm. I had to close my window over here, you guys, because it was too sunny when I tried to get on the first time. And now it's like, it's looking a little dismal out there. Okay, <clears throat> John Report. Let me plug my phone in. It was already low. I don't want any problems there. Um, John was gone for a long time this week. He was gone. And, um, you know, if you watched my Facebook Live Not Live last week, he could have been on his secret mission. Just saying. But I'm pretty sure he was at his property. Not for sure, but seems likely. Remember all the cases he took with him? Yeah. <laughs> so I haven't seen him. His truck is in the driveway, so I know he's home, I think. But he's been nowhere. Nowhere. Um, also, oh, I went to a funeral on Friday with my mom. My Aunt Sandy, who comes on here and watches me, if you guys ever say, hear me say, oh, hi, Aunt Sandy, my Aunt Sandy, she's the sweetest lady. She, her mother passed away. And so um, Val and I went over to my mom's house to go to that funeral on Friday. So I was really glad that I was able to do that because my Aunt Sandy, when my dad died, she was just there for our family. She made the video of my dad with all the pictures and she just did so much for us when my dad passed away. So I wanted to make sure that I let her know how important she was to me. And I was very, very sorry for her loss. But um, her mom was, I think, 88. I don't know how old she was, but she was not in good health. So she's she's uh, she's in a better place now. So we're, we're grateful for that. All right. Um, do I have anything else I need to tell you? I think we have winners. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay, so you guys know that I did a selfie challenge for those of you that were getting the, I mailed out the mini catalogs. And for those of you that were getting your mini catalogs, I did a selfie challenge. So all you had to do was take a selfie with your catalog and post it in the graphic that I put on the Facebook page. And if you guys aren't, um, if you haven't liked and followed my Facebook page, A Stamp Above Dash Your Creative Coach, you need to do that because then you'll get notifications when I add stuff. And so that's where this kind of stuff is. But um, I did a challenge and I gave away the Cottage Wreaths Bundle. Holy cow. Diane Christie was our winner and Diane is from Maryland. Diane, um, this was sitting on my desk and I did not get it out in the mail yet so that I could share it again tonight. I just wanted everybody to know that you won and I'm going to be getting that out in the mail tomorrow. So congratulations to Diane. Then there are three ways that you guys can win fabulous product from me. The first way is to comment. So if you're new to me or you haven't checked in and said hi or anything, Make sure you type a um, type a comment in here to let me know that you have been here because this is what's going out for the drawing for comments from last week. This is going to, let me see if I can get it right set up, um, Diane Fidlin from School Hill, Wisconsin. Diane Fidlin. And Diane, I do not have your address, so if you could please email that to me. My email address is kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at astampabove.com. Congratulations! These are so, so pretty. These are the 2021-2023 in color jewels. and Oh, they're just gorgeous. All right, next up. The second way, I am having a hot flash now. It's just, get, it got very warm in here all of a sudden. Um, the second way that you can earn fabulous product from me is to share this video. And someplace on your screen, on your device, you can share this video right now. I see Lynn just shared it. Thank you, Lynn. I appreciate that. Um, please hit that share button. If you're out on YouTube watching this later, 
please, please, please hit that share button out there. That helps me grow my business, and I so appreciate you guys helping me out with that. I have a brand new chamois and a case to put it in. Now, you guys know this is my chamois. <laughs> it's horrendous. Brr. But I love this thing for cleaning my stamps, and I just have it in an empty stamp case, and I keep it right on my desk. It's damp. You just rinse. Whoops, I don't want to give away um, addresses here. You just rinse these out in water. I just run it under water, squeeze it. You know, the ink comes out. Run it under water, squeeze it, run it under water, until it isn't like gushing ink anymore. And I love these things. This is going out to Luba Ballas from Rochester, New York. Luba, you're going to have a new chamois coming your way. I'm excited to be sending this to you. Congratulations. And the third way to win fabulous product from me is by placing an order in my online store. Now, when we turn this camera around, I am going to show you a host code that um, you use if your order is under $150. If your order is over $150, I really encourage you to just join my team, first of all. But if you're not going to, don't use the code if your order's over $150 because you're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up! And I definitely want you to have those. So next up, enjoy the moment stamp set as well as party something designer series paper. I can't remember what this is called. This was left over from a class that I did. But this is all the um, beautiful, beautiful black and white on one side, and then gorgeous, fun colors. Pattern Party. I think that's what it's called. Pattern Party. Luba, yay! I'm glad you're on here. Um, and I do have your address, Luba, so don't worry about that. But um, for placing an order, you're going to get this designer series paper, and you're also going to get this stamp set. That's going out to Marina Coates of Louisville, Kentucky. Congratulations. Whoops. Let's put the, how about the pretty side? Congratulations. And Barbara, Barbara says she loves my videos. Thank you so much. I have all this fun mail headed out tomorrow. Also, we will be compiling the kits. If you placed an order with me in June, there was a certain period of time that if your order was over $75, you're going to get a card kit in the mail. I had to wait until the designer paper came in with the new catalog because I needed a whole bunch of this. Now this is the new Design a Daydream 12 by 12 host paper. You can use your Stampin' Rewards if you have an order or a party over $150. You can use your Stampin' Rewards to get a pack of this. And it, there are 48 12 by 12 sheets in here. So I had to wait for this to come in before I could make the kits that I'm going to be giving you because I wanted to use this paper. I wanted to use new stuff, right? So, um, those kits, Kathy Miller is going to be coming to help me, you know, my 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 wonderful, wonderful sidekick. Um, she's going to be helping me get those kits compiled and out of here this week. So watch for those. Let me put this back. Otherwise, oh, things get so lost. Um, I really do need to clean this place up. It looks all nice right here, you guys, but over there, it ain't so pretty. <laughs> Okay, thank you guys so much. I didn't see. Kimberly says over $700. Wow, I don't know what's happening. You guys know that I try really hard to read your comments, but when a lot of them come in at once, they scroll up my screen and I can't see them. I saw in here somebody was saying, I hope you feel better. So somebody doesn't feel good tonight. Darn it. I didn't see who that was. So when I don't comment on things like that, I don't want you to think that I'm ignoring you because that's rude, right? So just know that I can't see all of them, but I try really hard. Um, okay, there, now that I've explained myself so I don't look like a, a rude person, <laughs> nobody wants that. Um, we did go out to eat for my birthday. Thank you guys so much for all the birthday wishes. Oh, nice legs, Sharon says. My legs are pretty tan, you guys, yeah. Um, <laughs> I was out in the pool today with Molly and Val. That was really fun. Um, Valerie really likes the water. And of course, Molly is a fish. Um, so we got to spend a little bit of time out there today. And that's why I didn't get as much done today as I had hoped I would get done. Um, and I'll explain that when we make uh, a really pretty floral card. I'll tell you what my intent was. <laughs> then you'll see how much of it didn't happen. 
<laughs> um, anyways, <clears throat> I think we're ready. Oh, one more thing. I do have an ordering incentive going on right now. We have these fine sparkle adhesive backed gems. Let me get these out of here because they're hard to see inside of the paper. My order for all of these will be in tomorrow. Look at how pretty these are. Oh my gosh, they're all self-adhesive. Ah, oh, delicious. And um, these are my ordering incentive between now and the 23rd. So between July 1st and July 23rd, your $75 order will get you a pack of these beautiful, beautiful gems. So I just wanted to let you know that. Now, when I put out incentives like that, they go out after the first of the month, okay? Um, Margaret, Molly is 11, and she spells her name with an I. She'll tell you, Molly with an I. <laughs> and she usually watches this. She's here. She stayed overnight last night. She's still here. We, we love Molly. <laughs> um, she spends a lot of time here because both of her parents work, and um, it's just fun here, and we're always here, right? So, anyways, um, where was I? Oh, kid, um, gifts like this. When I send out gifts like this, they always go out after the first of the month. So these will be going out August 1st, like the first week of August. And the reason is I run a report based on everybody who placed orders. And I can sort that report. I put it in a spreadsheet and I sort it to see who all qualified for it and the dates that they placed their order. If I do that before the end of the month, I just can't handle it. I, there's too much things to remember. I forget what I did and what I need to do, and so I just need to do it all at once. <laughs> you guys know that all of that is hard. <laughs> so that's how I keep my ducks in a row. Oh my goodness, it's really raining. It's boring. Okay, so I think we're ready to stamp. Are we ready to stamp? I'm excited to be here with you tonight. Um. You look good in yellow. I know, this is the only like yellow shirt that I have. And it's, well, let me see. Let me get myself together here. I like backs like this. Ooh, kind of sexy, right? I know. <laughs> yeah, so um, it's raining cats and dogs right now. Hmm. Well, I'm glad Steve brought in all of the uh, beach towels because ugh, that's a mess. Okay, we're ready to stamp. I'm going to stop. Blah, 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 blah. Somebody's under a burn ban. Yeah, who needs who needs rain? Sharon does. Oh, I know. It's it, it gets bad, right? Like burn burn stuff is bad. Um, we're a little bit leery about our property that we have at South Park because it's like in the middle of a forest, and Steve is very very conscious about when we have a fire. It's in one of those. We call it a yuppie fire pit. <laughs> No offense to anybody, but um, <laughs> Diane says, sexy mama. Thanks. I know I like this one. I like this shirt, um, but we keep our, we keep the lid on it so that any embers can't float up into the air and catch like the pine trees on fire. You just don't know what's going to happen there. So, all right. First thing we're going to do, Jan Berry. Jan gave me a tip. When you're watching my videos on YouTube, there's something called a super thanks. And that super thanks button is down at the bottom. And I hear from so many of you guys that are demonstrators, not on my team, but demonstrators, that you you would like to help me. You would like to order from me. And that super thanks button is something that allows you to um, give me tips. Okay? And Jen Berry, bless her heart, she saw me struggling because I broke, I broke the little arms off of my scoring blade. So she saw me, every time I open this, it falls out, right? And she, she gave me a tip on the super thanks on YouTube and said, get yourself a new paper trimmer. <laughs> Bless your heart. Oh my gosh. So Jen, here's my new paper trimmer. And I thought as long as I was getting a new paper trimmer, I would, I would unveil this beast in front of you, all of you, and show you how all of this works. So um, one thing that I hear from people from time to time is that this is starting to peel. They'll say, my thing is starting to peel. Well, here's the deal. 
This has a film over it that is not meant to be permanent. It is a temporary film. And what happens is if you don't take this off, which you don't have to, you can leave it on, it will start to do this. And then people think something is wrong with their paper trimmer surface, but that's totally not the case. It is a film and it's just to protect it during shipping or whatever. But um, anyways, I just wanted to let you know that that's, that's not a defect when it does that. Let me see if there's one right here. Yep, there is. But it'll start to wear from getting touched and, you know, all the things. But yeah, that comes right off of there. Now, these little blades that are in this paper. And by the way, I think this paper trimmer is only, it's like 20 or $25. Um, let's take a look-see because I can't remember. It's been a while. Well, I just I did just order this one, but I didn't pay any attention. Jan wanted me to have a new trimmer. I got a new trimmer. I can follow directions. I'm pretty good at that. Here's our trimmer. Da, 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 da. Um, twenty five dollars. Twenty five dollars on page one fifty five. We also have blades available. Extra, you know, uh, extra blades. But <clears throat> the blades come in and out of here. There's little divots right here in the track, and this is where your blades, you can change your blades. Let me see if I can actually make my thing work. See, your, you've got little, um, there it is. You've got little, little arms on here, and that's what broke off on mine. So I always like to have my, my scoring blade at the top of my paper cutter. So I'm gonna switch mine around. But the nice thing about this paper cutter is when you put your, your card stuck in here, this gets all the way out of the way so you can completely cut your card stock without having to take that score blade out, which is really nice. And then we have this arm that goes up to 17 inches. So that's pretty nice too if you're a scrapbooker or it's really nice for a 12 by 12 paper paper, but scrapbooker, this is a great, great paper trimmer. So there you go. I just wanted to share that with you. Jan, bless your heart. And thank you for taking pity on me with my crazy scoring blade. <laughs> All right. I think what we're going to do here first is I am going to, I'm going to bring in this card. So this is what I was working on today, and I really, really, really wanted to make a whole bunch of these in various colors, but unfortunately, that's not the way my day worked out, and you know what? I wouldn't trade it for anything. Val came over, and we got to swim and laugh, and Molly just had her squealing. It was just hysterical. So we had a lot of fun. Um, this is the Hues of Happiness Designer Series paper. Now, this... This whole bundle of product, Happiness Abounds, as well as the Blossoming Happiness dies. There are 11 different dies in here, and I'm going to go over them with you, and 15 different stamps. This bundle, this paper, is part of my kit class for July. And um, also included in the kit class is the beautiful Pool Party Sheer Ribbon. A half a pack of these brushed brass butterflies, a full pack of the glossy dots. I've got two in here because, well, because I do. Um, a full pack of the glossy dots, eight envelopes, and a pack of this beautiful hues of happiness designer series paper. You guys, this is so. Oh, so gorgeous. I had so much fun with this today, creating the project that I'm going to share with you. So um, I'm just going to set this aside. We're going to set all these little goodies aside now and bring out the layers of cards. So I've got a card base that is eight and a half. No, I'm sorry, five and a half by eight and a half. I've already scored it at four and a quarter. So we're going to fold that. We're going to burnish this edge. Okay. And then I took the this paper. I want to use this side. This is four by five and a quarter. And we are going to do a little bit of um, die cutting embossing on that. 
This is a three quarter inch strip and this is gonna go on the inside of our card, but I might cut, I might emboss the edge of that. Um, this is just a basic white scrap, and then of course we have our envelope, okay? This is two and a half by six, and I love to decorate my envelopes, absolutely love it. So I am going to, oh, I should have taken, you guys, I'm gonna take a picture, maybe tomorrow I'll take a picture of, um, the present my mom gave me. Oh my gosh, it is the cutest little thing. It's this little hedgehog. And last year we went to um, flower shopping and I said that I loved this little elephant thing. And so my mom went back there and bought it for me. So this year we were at the same place, the Posey Patch in Greenwood, Wisconsin. Um, and they had these little hedgehog type looking things. And I'm like, oh my I was like how cute that is well as soon as I left my mom's house she ran back over there and bought it and had a bunch of succulents planted in it and oh my goodness I've got it on my front porch it is the cutest little thing so I'll take a picture of it and share it on my Facebook page so you guys can see it maybe I'll put it on my blog too for those of you that aren't on Facebook okay which reminds me this is that host code I was talking about okay when your order's under $150 use this um all of the projects that I'm making tonight, I do not have anything typed up and ready for my blog post, but YouTube has been taking so long to upload my videos, the checks. They have to do all these checks on your video, so it sits there and it spins and spins and spins, that last time I had to go to bed, it was like four hours, and I'm like, I need to get to bed. So just know that if you don't see my video and my blog post, for those of you that aren't watching on Facebook that it's not most time now it's not my fault before it used to be my fault when it was late but now, now it's not okay so um we are going to bring out our dies here we have just a little bit of stamping let's get our stamping done first where's my piercing mat this is just a piercing mat and i'll bring one in here that's empty this is a piercing mat and i like to wrap this with printer weight paper and just tape it with scotch tape. And um, this is what I use to stamp on. It keeps me from getting ink all over my table. It gives me the little extra cushion that the photopolymer, the clear rubber stamps, they like a little bit of cushion. You would think that a hard surface would be best, but whatever. Um, it's not. <laughs> okay, so first thing we're going to do here is we are going to stamp, and I'm using the red, and so we're going to stamp, I think we're going to stamp in early espresso ink. And I'm going to bring in my wishing you all the happiness you can imagine. And I love these fonts and this happiness abounds stamp set. Good, good grief. They are so pretty. So we're going to stamp that right on our basic white scrap. And then I'm going to bring in... Ooh, Lenny says she loves this set. I know, right? It's so pretty. I'm going to wash that off. Next, I'm going to bring in the card. And I'm going to take this. I'm just going to lay this designer paper in here while I stamp my sentiment on the inside. Because if I goof it up, I don't want anything to be glued down yet. And here comes our happy birthday sentiment. Love it. Perfect. Let's get this closed. Let's get my stamp cleaned so I don't drop it on my perfect little sentiment, right? Okay. Now, I thought what maybe I would like to do. Hang on, I got glue on my fingers. What I'd like to do with this, I haven't done this yet, but I'm thinking we could maybe use one of these edgelets on this piece that we're going to put on the inside. So, I'm going to show you both of these. This is like a notebook edge, and this is some dotty lines. Oops, hang on. Dotty lines. Okay. So, this doesn't fit all the way, and that's going to cut off the edge. So, I think I need to, I think I'll do the dot, well, yeah, I'll do the dotty lines on here. So, I'm going to lay this on here. I'm going to bring in, this is my temporary tape. 
I'm gonna bring in my little mini machine. This is my mini boss, I call it. This is a mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. Now, just so you know, all of our embossing machines come with all of the plates that you need to make them work. I just had somebody ask me that recently. This is the embossing plate, these are cutting plates, and this is the die cutting platform. So this all comes with the big machine, of course bigger, and then this little machine too. So I am going to put this in here. You guys see this okay? I hope so. And then I'm going to take this. This could be a disaster, but I'm hoping it's not. <laughs> and there's a little cutting edge on here. So I'm going to put that cutting edge next to the side of my strip. This is a three quarter inch strip of designer series paper. And then I've got that temporary tape on there so it doesn't move around on me. And now we're gonna run this through. Oops, let me get this out of the way. Now, this little machine is nice to keep on your desktop because it's small and it fits. It doesn't take up a lot of space. So now what we've got here is this. Isn't that cool? Look at this. Are my lights looking okay? I think they are. Look at how neat that looks, right? So what am I gonna do with the rest of this? Because I need this to be a little bit longer. I am going to simply put this in place, make sure that I get it in here the right way, and take that tape off. And I'm just gonna lock a couple of these. I just locked a couple of those dotted slash lines, whatever you wanna call them, into three spots that were already die cut here. And I am going to get this. They kind of like almost snap right into place, you guys. You can feel them. Well, let me get on here again. You can feel them snap right into place so that you're able to continue your pattern without, you know, looking stupid. <laughs> That's a little harsh, but it is how I feel. <laughs> that it does look stupid if it's not right, right? Okay, so I'm going to... I'm just gonna put this on here and then I'll lay it on here. And <laughs> I can really do this, I promise you. Good grief. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna snap that in place. I'm gonna put that tape on there, doggone it. It's giving me a hard time. Okay, I think we're good. Let's see if I screw this up. <laughs> We'll all feel at home, won't we? That's right. I need a drink. What are you guys drinking tonight? I got my strawberry lemonade. You know it's my favorite. It's what I drink all the time. Oh, I did find. <gasps> you guys. I, oh, see how that just continued on? Ah, it's like a Christmas miracle. Um, <laughs> I did find... Uh, hang on, I gotta find, oh, here, I got a white scrap here. So I wanted to show you what this one looks like too. I did find some um, old fashioned mix so that I don't have to make everything by hand. And here's the funny part. So I've used old fashioned mix before. I'm just gonna do this on a scrap of white so you can see it. And um, here I would put in my liquor, you know, a shot of, Southern Comfort is what I like. I put in my shot of Southern Comfort and then I would dump a bunch of the old fashioned mix in and then Sprite and then, you know, olives and whatever, the orange slice and cherries and whatever. Well, here I found out as I read the, the bottle of Gary's old fashioned mix, very good. It's very good. You put in one ounce of your whiskey and a half an ounce of the old fashioned mix. And I was like dumping in quite a bit and, and not liking my old fashions that I was making myself. So hello, <laughs> I got it figured out, don't worry. Oh, Judy's having a Cayman Jack Margarita. I am so jealous. Okay, you guys, check this out. I'm gonna snip this off here. This makes a little like notebook edge, which I think is super cool. Now remember, <clears throat> this is my kit class for the month. So 
we are using this die in the cards. And I don't show the cards in my kit because there is an element of surprise that I like to save for those people that order the kit. So those, those cards are never shown to the public. You'll get more ideas. This is just one more idea you can use with my kit. Now, I forgot to tell you guys, the kit is $54.00. And it includes all the things that I showed you, plus eight envelopes, pre-cut card stock for eight cards. You get four different designs and you make two of each. Priority shipping to you. And if you would like to add on the bundle, the stamp set and the dies, that is an additional $55. And you have the opportunity to select that when you fill out the registration form. But look at how cool that is, right? So we've got that one and this one. Yeah, very cool. Okay, so that's part of this bundle. Now let me see if I can get all these little polka dotties out of here. Well, I guess there's only three or four in here. I like to clean out my dies before I put them away because the next time I go to use them, I don't want to have to do work. <laughs> Does that make sense? <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to put these back on here and then we'll get this out of the way. And we're going to just put all that right on the floor. <laughs> Not going to be shy about it. And we'll get this in our card base. Here we go. Here's our card base. And I think, do I want to put it in this way? Do I want to put it in this way? I do not know. I think I'll go this way. Okay, so I'm just going to add some glue. right here and then oh I think I want to put it this way because I'm going to do that that way I'm going to do it this way I know I can do it any way I want right you're probably going gosh why does it matter <laughs> well because we have decisions to make people sometimes decisions are hard okay I'm going to trim this off oops almost cut my card ah Almost did it again. Okay, so look how cool that is, right? I love this. Okay, next up, we're gonna take this four by five and a quarter inch piece and we are going to, <clears throat> oh, dang it, I didn't wanna do that. Um, Hang on. Hmm. I need to find that peck of paper and grab me a new one. I will save this, let this dry, and use it for something else because I just blew that. We're going to emboss that. I don't want to put glue on it yet. Here we go. Oh, that's not quite the same. I think I might have used all... Oh, here's one. I was going to say, I think I might have used all the yellows out of here. Okay, so we're going to try this again. Real live stamping, people. Real live mistakes and everything. I plan a lot of these mistakes just so you guys know that I'm not perfect. And of course, I'm just giving you a line of BS like you can't even believe. <laughs> right? Okay. We'll try this again. So we've got four by five and a quarter. And I will... Oh my goodness is sticking because it's brand new it's not sticking it's just like kind of got a little static going on okay we're gonna take this die oh my gosh and we are going to run this through on this layer and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on here just like this now this is not gonna go through our little mini machine so I'm gonna bring in the big kahuna the big boss and I am going to just lay that on there like that. Now this cuts and embosses. So this is a really, really cool die. And all this, look at it. There's, I don't know, there's a lot of static in here tonight. I'm not really sure why. I like to take a piece of paper with these little bitty bits and go like this to get them unstuck. And then I just whip them, not on the floor, but in the garbage. I don't know why. I whipped everything else on the floor, but for some reason, I just don't feel right about it. But you do what you need to do. Okay, 
Here comes this piece. Are you guys ready for the reveal? Ah, look at how pretty this is. Now, some of these are die cut and others are just half die cut. And there's some cut lines in here. It's all very cool. So let me show you what's happening here. There's some little, little petals that you can push up if you want to. I'm not gonna go through and do it, but it looks pretty neat that they're, it makes it kind of 3D. So this is a really cool little element. Those just went on the floor. All right, now I wanted a label for my card. <clears throat> so I brought in my Taylor Made Tags dies and I used the smallest, well, it's not the smallest, I think it's the second smallest to die cut this. Okay, so we're gonna die cut that. And I already have that done. And then we can put this right on the front of our card. Look at how pretty that looks. Isn't that pretty? It's already pretty. We didn't hardly do a thing. So I'm gonna add, hang on, I gotta get this glue off of here. And grab a baby one. Steve went to McDonald's today and well, before he went to McDonald's he was I don't know what he was doing in the kitchen but he got kind of snappy with me <laughs> that never is a good idea right and so I kind of got a little snappy back with him so then later he's taking Molly to McDonald's because that's what she wants and he says to me, he goes, you want anything for McDonald's? I'm like, oh, I really thought about it. And I'm like, no, shouldn't do McDonald's because, oh my gosh, I gained all my eight pounds back. And ugh. so anyways, he comes back with a chocolate shake. <laughs> he knew, he knew. And then he was back in my good graces again. But yeah, he got a little snappy with me. Mm, that's never a good plan, mister. Okay, here comes our beautiful sheer ribbon. Now, this ribbon is pool party and we need it to be flirty flamingo. So guess what we're gonna do? We are going to color it with a flirty flamingo blend. This is an alcohol marker. So we can make this whatever color we need it to be. Yeah, isn't that gonna be cool? I think so. I don't know how much I need here. I didn't really measure it. But I did one card with yellow, and it worked out really good, too. So um, because this is so light, you can make it a lot of colors, right? Um, it's probably not going to be petal pink because I don't think that'll work on here. But this worked. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's crazy, but I love it. So we're going to take this and we're gonna put it in this little tag. And then, oh my gosh, you guys, we're gonna to get to the really fun part and you're gonna, it's just gonna be like, whoa. I had so much fun with these dies today and the designer paper. I saw there was a gal on my team that posted a picture. She was doing what I'm gonna show you. Um, and I think it was the same, the same bundle today and I was like oh I can't wait to see what she makes with all of this but I won't I won't jump ahead anymore because it'll just be weird Ugh. hang on sometimes the bow is the hardest part right oh there we go then you gotta pull it back I should have made it a little longer would have been a little easier it's hard to maneuver these when they're so little Oh, there we go. Yeah, so Haley and Jared have been working on their house. Today they are painting their kitchen. They took all the wood molding off. Um, so far what they were doing to their house was cleaning it because the lady that lived there before was there for 15 years and Haley said she did not realize because when you look at it, it looks great. But once she started cleaning, it was filthy. Like she never cleaned any of the molding or washed the walls or anything like that. I'm like, yeah, well... 
people forget about stuff like that and it does it all needs to be cleaned so they have been working feverishly to get this place clean because who wants to live in somebody else's dirt okay now we're gonna get the dimensionals out Here comes the dimensionals. I'm gonna put two dimensionals on the back of this. And I'm leaving the outside edges blank for a reason because we're gonna do a little tucking under. So I'm gonna bring this right in here. Oh my gosh, isn't this, it's already just really pretty. Look at the envelope, like we could be done right now. But wait, there's more. Okay, so the really cool thing about this paper is that it's got the stamps. You can stamp and you can color all of these a million times, right? But you can also take this designer series paper and you can die cut. Hang on, I'm gonna get it out here. You can die cut the flowers from the paper, okay? So let's take a look, see at these. I know, Kimberly says so pretty, oh, I know. Here comes this particular die and it fits right there. And then we've got this one that fits right here. We've got this one with the little stem on it, so you need to look for the flower. Here's a flower with the stem. There's a flower with the stem right here too. Little stem that fits right there. And then we've got this big one, and that one, I always look for this to line up with this. You know how you look for some defining feature so that it's just easier? So we've got one, two, three, four. Wait, there's more. I, found, I sound like an infomercial, right? But wait, there's more. <laughs> These, this is the leaves. That cuts out these leaves right here. And then this cuts out these leaves right here. Good grief! Now, the only two dies that I haven't used yet are these two, and they go with these little flower bouquets, okay? So this one is this one, this one is this one, and now we have all the things. Whew! So what I did is I took this paper and I just went crazy die cutting it, which was super fun. And let me put this back in here and I'll get my flowers. Set this over here. And here comes all the things. So here comes, these are all die cut from the paper. Now, my idea today was to make all of these in various colors to be able to show you just a rainbow of beauty, right? But we had to go swimming. And so you're going to need to use your imagination. But I'm gonna show you a card made with this idea that I had. Look at all these leaves. We cut, I cut out all of these out of the paper. This is all just die cut out of that paper. And now, of course, what do you do when you run out of the paper? Well, then you can stamp, you can stamp and color the stamps, right? But I do recommend, completely recommend that you order two packs of this Hues of Happiness paper and you will not be disappointed. Here's, here's some more. Look at how pretty these are. Oh my goodness. So pretty. But wait, there's more. <laughs> here comes some more, some purple ones. They're so gorgeous. And then here comes my paper. So, I mean, I really, really chop. I can get this out of this yet. I really chopped this up. And there was a couple of them that were kind of like maybe on the edge like this. I die cut those anyways because I figure I could tuck them under and still, where was, there was one of them, this one right here. You could take that and you can tuck it underneath what you're doing and nobody would ever know that it was missing half of its body there. So anyways, just a nifty way to use these and you really can cut 
a ton of stuff out of these, right? I was, I was just really very pleasantly surprised by all of this. So I kept those so I could show them to you. Now, we are going to be working with these. So I'm just gonna put all these aside and I will be making more cards with this particular bundle. So you'll get even more ideas. Get the kit from me, you'll absolutely love it. And then you'll have more ideas. Okay, so I'm gonna just use mm, that and that. Oops, hang on, I dropped a leaf. Oh gosh, I'm warm. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I added all of these with, I don't know why that's here. I added all of these with dimensionals. So now I'm going to take this particular flower and I'm gonna pop it right up over here. Here's my big dimensionals. So I'm gonna kinda keep my dimensional away from the back of the bottom part right here, okay? So I'll put one right here and maybe one right there. And I'm gonna just have that overlap my tag just a tiny bit. Then I'm gonna bring in these leaves and I'm gonna tuck those right in here. So I gotta, I'm gonna kinda look at it and see where do I need to put my dimensionals. Let's grab some minis for this one. To do that and that. How many of you guys have these mini dimensionals and love them? Oh my gosh, this is the best thing. It's like the best thing they've ever come out with. So I'm going to put this leaf onto my tag just a little bit. You don't want it to cover up your words, right? And then we'll do... We'll do this little flower. I might put this right underneath here. So I'm gonna put a dimensional down towards the bottom. So I get that off of there. Okay. And then we'll take this one and I'm going to put this right over here. Oh my gosh, so pretty. And then we have one more leaf that I want to add to this. So I'll put Oh, that's kind of big. I'm going to use some mini dimensionals. Courtney, they do come in black. Oh my goodness. When you buy the black pack of dimensionals, you get minis and big ones. Yay! See, look at minis and big ones. And this is black Stampin' Dimensionals combo pack. Item code 150893. Yeah, I love them, love them, love them. Okay, here comes, did I get that off of there yet? Nope, let me get my little tool. Here we go, okay. So then I'm gonna take this and tuck this up here. Yep, just like that. <gasps> Look at how pretty that is, right? And this is just with die cut flowers off the paper. Now, um, let's get our brushed, there's our brushed, here they are, our brushed butterflies. My friend Priscilla taught me this, to cut a slit in the side of your embellishment packages and it's just easier to get them in and out but you're still putting them back in the envelope to protect them, right? I'm gonna grab let me get a little bit more putty out here. This is a take your pick tool. I love this tool. You guys see me use it constantly. And it's got a little bit of putty in the end here. And I'm just gonna take one of those little butterflies and put it right there. <gasps> yeah. I'm wondering if I should have made this ribbon um, mossy meadow, maybe. But if you do this card, you can figure that out. Um, I've got another one. Do you guys want to see it? Here, let me get all this junk out of the way. It's all about the presentation, right? So we need to make a nice presentation here. Here's our beautiful card with our envelope. Oh, I love it, love it, love it, love it. And then here's the first one that I made. 
This is with the Daffodil Delight. This is the designer paper, just like here. Everything is the same. I colored the ribbon with dark Daffodil Delight to get it to be like the yellowish color. Isn't that pretty? I love this. I love this bundle. Now, I've got all my cards sitting here ready for me to make videos for this kit class. Anybody is interested in getting this kit, again, you have the opportunity to add the stamp set and the um, dies to your order for the kit. If you do that, you also get to choose a celebration item at the $50 level. Ah, thank you, Sharon says you knocked it out of the park with this one. So I wanted to make all these different colors of cards so you guys would have this beautiful rainbow to look at. But what I did I thought was pretty cool. I got to swim with Ma Molly and Val today. So I know you guys understand. <clears throat> And I love, love these edge dies. I think these are so very cool. That little notebook thing, oh, my favorite. Now, I need to stick this in here someplace where I'm gonna see it. Uh, I'll have to remember it's in there. Okay, so Happiness Abounds comes with a half a pack of brushed brass butterflies. The designer series paper, this is cut six to six by six your pool party ribbon, as well as a pack of glossy dots and eight envelopes. You get four different designs in cards. You make two of each for a total of eight cards. So it's a pretty darn cool kit. Okay, let me set these aside. And what is gonna be next? Hmm. Well, I promised you guys a fun fold, and so I better deliver. <laughs> right? Right. Let me get my little cheat sheet up here. Yes, I do too. I really like the yellow too. These are just so pretty, right? They're just so, so pretty and pretty easy too. Okay, next up I've got my cardstock layers. We are going to be using the silver and gold specialty paper, you guys. This is free during celebration. It is one of our free items with a $50 order. Let me see, here it is right here. This is the paper. You get 24 sheets, 12 each of two designs. And that's, that's not right. Oh yeah, 12 each of two designs. Okay, that does make sense. So what you get in here, I'm like, oh, math is hard, right? What you get in here, let me move out my little scraps. You get silver and gold. So we've got silver polka dots, and these are embossed, silver embossed foil, and silver stripes. And then you get gold stripes and gold polka dots, 24 sheets. So this is a pretty neat pack of paper. One of the things that I love to do with this type of paper is to color it different colors because, because that foil polka dots or stripes is embossed, it's, it's an emboss resist technique so the ink won't stick to the foil embossed on this paper, which means you can do, oops, hang on, I just, look at it, I just stuck this in the glue. Good grief, Kelly. <laughs> Maybe one of those nights. Okay, so we're gonna pull out all of our pieces here. Let me get this put away. I've got two different colors. Uh, when we get this card done, I'll have two different colors to show you. Um, and I'll show you my original inspiration. Don't let me forget to do that, because sometimes I do. We are going to be using the Sunny Splash. Who has this stamp set? I think this is just so retro and so adorable. And it's perfect for any type of summer card. You can make a get well card. You can make any kind of card with this. Um, well, maybe not a sympathy card, okay, but any other kind of card. And then I just needed a happy birthday sentiment. So this is the very best occasions. This is new in the mini catalog also. Um, is this in the mini 
mini catalog? I can't remember. I think that's in the annual catalog, but this is in the mini catalog. I think this is annual catalog. And then this, of course, is free. So we're going to be using this. And I am going to get out the adhesive backed sequins and gems. Oh, these are so, so pretty. I've got Highland Heather, Pale Papaya, and Coastal Cabana inks. Michelle says, I love this set with the sunshine and good feeling set. Yes, yes. There's a lot of good coordinating things. We've got our blending brushes. I love these things. I always want to touch them to my face. <laughs> I know that's weird, but um, I think I'm going to be using this beautiful satin edged ribbon. This is also in the mini catalog. It's got that gold fleck in there. It's called gold. <laughs> Get my stamps out and my card stock. And then where's my other card that I made? Oh, I got it over here. Okay, and Memento Black Ink. So let's get, get some things done here. We're gonna bring in our brand new Jan Berry Paper Cutter. <laughs> and I got one of the six by six, by the way, this is only one-sided because of the embossing. Um, we are going to take this and we are going to score it. This is six by six, so I didn't do anything to it, but we need to score it in half. So we're gonna score it at three. And make sure you don't push too hard when you're scoring designer paper because it's a little bit thinner than cardstock. And then we're going to score, turn it and score it at three again. So we're gonna score it that way and that way. And then we're gonna score it this way. And I really should have waited to score it until I get done blending color on it, but I got a little overexcited. You know how I am. Then we're going to take Highland Heather and we're going to score that at five and a half and four and a quarter. Okay, pretty easy so far. Remember, I will have free downloads of these projects, the complete project sheet. You can print it out. You can um, save it to your device. You can do whatever you want with it. So you get a whole library of free downloads of my projects. Okay, so this is going to be a book binding fold. That's what they call this. And then we are going to take these pieces and we're going to blend them. Let's bring this in. This first piece is four by five. So we're going to, I want my stripes to go sideways. And the reason why I chose for my to be horizontal, the reason why I chose for them to be horizontal is because there's a swimsuit that has horizontal stripes on it. So I wanted to be consistent with that. And I thought it might look a little goofy if it wasn't consistent. So just something to think about when you're designing that, you know, stripes going up and down and then this way, I don't know. That isn't where I wanted to go with it. Okay, Highland Heather ink. We are going to take our blending brush. Oh, my stomach is growling. So today, Steve made, he buys the, um, what's it called? A rotisserie chicken from, you can buy big packs of it at Costco. He buys that and then he browns it in a little bit of olive oil. And hang on, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> One more time? Maybe not. Maybe. <laughs> Anyways, he browns it in some um, olive oil and then he put it in with suddenly salad, pasta salad. Oh my gosh, delicious. And he also added some red and yellow peppers in with the um, pasta salad. I like that crunchy sweet in there. Oh, so good. Okay, now this is Coastal Cabana. And notice that when I'm blending with, thank you guys for the bless you. When I'm blending with the blending brush, I come in and I go like this. You always start on your paper so you don't get globs, which I don't know why. I was just reminded of this, you guys. One of the things that people are doing on the comments when you comment on my Facebook Lives is um, men are coming in and commenting, replying to your comments saying, 
Oh, yeah, I'm new on Facebook, and I'd really like to get to know you. So if you'd like a new friend, you know, message me, blah, blah, blah. Just ignore those. They're just weirdos. And um, there's, I can't, I can stop them after the fact. And I do go through and try to block them so they can never comment on my Facebook page again. But I can't catch all of them. So just ignore when people send you that because it's just, they're just, they're creepy. Okay, this is Pale Papaya. And I keep forgetting to tell you guys that, but I just went through and removed a bunch of them and blocked a bunch of them again. And ugh. get a real life and a real job and stop being such a loser. <laughs> okay, look at how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? Okay, now what I want to do with the other big piece is kind of the same thing. And so I would probably do this before you do the score lines on this bigger piece. But I'm going to come in with that pale papaya. Uh, did I do this the right way? Nope. Maybe it won't matter on this one. <laughs> I, I maybe should have started this way. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. And of course, the more you do this, the darker you can make it. You just keep doing what you need to do to get it to the color that you want it to be. Next, I'm going to go with my Coastal Cabana. See how it got globby there? That's because I didn't do enough over here before I hit the paper. But I'm just going to keep blending and try to kind of cover that up. And then we've got our purple. Here comes our purple. Yeah, Polly says, why, weirdo? So annoying. It is. It's just like, get, get a life. You know, these, the people that scam people on the internet too, it's like, it's so, it's just so mean and horrible. And especially people that are innocent and don't know that they're being scammed. It's just a horrible situation. They think they're helping somebody or whatever. And it's just a, some creepy dude sitting in a sweatshop office making money. Ugh. Anyhow, let's go back to happier things like all of this, right? Okay, so we have that done, and then we have, oh, hello, we need to still stamp. What are you doing? Sorry, guys. Okay, now we're going to take our white pieces. So we have th three white pieces. I have ink on my fingers. Hang on. Three white pieces. There's two that are two and three quarters by two and three quarters, and then one that is three by three. So on the three by three, I'm gonna grab my black ink and my, uh, how about this? Maybe we'll do make a splash. Hang on, let me see what I got here. Yep, make a splash. I'm gonna do make a splash. And I'm going to stamp this right down here. Yay! And. <laughs> Always makes me so happy. I'm gonna grab a little scrap. Let me find a little. There's a little scrap. There's a little scrap of white. Then, now we're gonna start stamping some swimming suits. And I've got this little cutie patootie, little bikini from like the 50s, right? And we're gonna stamp that in the Coastal Cabana right over here. Look how cute that is. I love I love this retro stuff. Then, let me get this out of the way. We're going to stamp the polka dotty one in the Highland Heather. And we're gonna stamp that right over here. Super cute. Then, where's my other swimsuit? Oh, stripes. We're gonna do the stripes on the scrap. And the stripes are going to be in the pale papaya. Yay! And we're going to cut this out. And what I found today when I cut the one out for the other card that I made, so I'm going to have another color to show you. Cut out the card for that one. This is really easy. These swimsuits, all these swimsuits are pretty simple to cut out like this. So we don't have a set of dies for this. But in the scheme of things... Y'all can handle it. <laughs> Kelly said I could handle it. So 
Okay. There we go. So then we're going to take this one and we're going to mount it on some dimensionals that I put away for some silly reason. Here comes a dimensional and then I'll use a baby one. Whoops, hang on. Drop them on the floor. So we went out for my birthday. We went out to eat and I wore my crown and Valerie thought that was pretty cool that her granny had on a crown. I have a happy birthday tiara, by the way. Yeah, this isn't the only tiara I own. <laughs> I don't even know where that thing came from, but it's been in our family for a very long time. Where'd those embellishments go? Right here. Okay, so we're gonna take, I didn't cut the slit in here yet, Priscilla. Yes, Sylvia. <laughs> Yipper. Okay, so I think I want to use maybe the green on here. Look at how pretty this is. I'm just going to put it right there. Ah, isn't that cute? These are so pretty. Again, you guys, these are adhesive backed sequins and gems. Very, very pretty. Okay, now this is three by three. We're going to put that on gold, three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And I really wanted to bring in the gold from the paper. That's why I'm using gold. And then the other one that I'm gonna share with you, oh, I can share that maybe right now. Hang on, this is really crooked. Oh, that's better. Um, the other one I'm gonna share with you uses the rose and the gold. Did you guys see this? This is like a brushed metallic specialty paper. Comes in a six by six pack, but look at, look at how, oh, isn't that pretty? The other card I'm gonna share with you with this stamp set used this gold, but look at that rose gold. Yeah, and again, this is called gold and rose gold six by six metallic specialty paper. So pretty. Okay, now, let me see. Here we go. We are going to, uh, oh, we're gonna stamp a few little things on the inside. So let's do that and then we'll put our card together because the inside is like a huge wow. I can't hardly wait to share it with you. These two pieces are gonna go like a diamond. So I am going to do, where's my little stripey, stripey girl? Right here and she was, um, I think I want the purple one. Let's do the. And we're going to, we're gonna do our words first. Wishing you were here. Put that right over here with the black. Then we've got the Highland Heather and we'll just put that little swimsuit right here. Ha! Ah, isn't that cute? And then on this other piece over here, I am going to do another birthday card. Um, and we're going to do that in black. And again, it's going to be like a diamond. Okay. All right. You're like, what the heck is she doing? I can, I can hear it in your, in the, I don't know, the scroll of the mouse. Oh, did I tell you guys I got a new laptop? <laughs> yeah, it's a hateful thing to deal with. Most people would be excited, but I despise getting a new computer. Um, I got a new laptop. I haven't started using it yet, but I will at some point. Mine is failing and I know it's going to like, I didn't want it to leave me in a lurch. So I got a new one. Okay. So this was four by five. We're going to cut an inch off of this, this little piece right here. We're just going to cut an inch right off of there. Okay. And here's our Highland Heather card base. So this little piece, as you might well guess, is gonna go over here on the book binding area. Oh, look how pretty that is. Now you, of course, can use any colors that you want. This piece is gonna go right over here. Love this, love this metallic paper. Then we're gonna take this little piece right here and we're going to add it to the front. 
So somebody asked me what Steve made for dinner. Um, so he made that rotisserie chicken into the pasta salad. He also, we're gonna do this too. He also took some of the rotisserie chicken and put it in with some cauliflower and broccoli and some red and yellow peppers and some onions. And he just put it all into a big bowl and then we can eat it with like ranch dressing on it like a salad. So I can't wait to try that. I had the pasta salad. I didn't eat very much of it though because I'm obviously I'm hungry again. But um, yeah, that's what he made. And other than that, he hasn't been cooking much. He's been so busy, you guys. Like it's crazy to think how insanely busy he is. Like, just insane. Okay, so now we're gonna fold on the fold lines, okay? And I like to use my bone folder. Like what is she doing that crazy girl, right? And then we're gonna take this and we're gonna fold it back. And this is just directly dot one diagonal. That's all we did there. So we took our piece of paper, we scored it at three and three, and then once at diagonally. And then these two pieces go here. Ah, ready? Look at I know, things like this just make me so happy. Okay, so let's get this done. Um, we are going to put our ribbon on. So let's get this ribbon in here. And I put this on the inside of the card. You could wrap it around the outside if you wanted to. I mean, I don't think it would hurt anything. And I think this time I'm gonna tie maybe a bow up here. So let me see if I can tie a bow. I have a blog hop on Thursday that I think has a summertime theme and I was kind of hem-hawing around whether I should save this card for that or share it with you tonight. And I promised you a fun fold. <laughs> so I thought it better not, better not be a liar, liar, pants on fire, right? Nobody likes that. Okay. Well, yeah, that looks okay, right? Okay, I'll leave this. I need to get some new paper snips. Mine are cut too much paper with them. They don't cut ribbon good, you know, because paper's hard on scissors. The kids used to grab my sewing scissors and go to use them to cut something, and oh my good Lord, I would threaten their life. <laughs> okay, so then, oh, I think what I did, you guys, is I took some tear and tape and... My goodness, I just looked at my screen to see if I had any comments. We've got 501 people watching us live tonight. That is amazing. Thank you guys for tuning in. I just so love that you come to spend a little bit of time with me on a Sunday evening. I'm always just amazed by that. All right, so a little bit of tear and tape. We're going to close this beast up just like that. Oh, look at the gold and the gold. Whew. I might have taken this ribbon and made it a little bit tighter. I don't like that it's flopping around like this, and oh, now I'm afraid that I'm gonna screw it up. I want this to be a little bit snugger. <laughs> Is that a word, snugger? And so now I think I'm gonna have to, oh, hang on, let me see. If you ever run into a problem like this, get yourself a mini glue dot, and grab one of those. Trying to get one off the paper here. There we go. And I'm going to put that right underneath. Right there. And I'm gonna pull it tight. Oh, look it, look it, it's holding it for me. Oh, that's pretty cool. Beast. I cut this already and I shouldn't have. Okay, I'm going to give this one more try. And if I can't get it, we're going to just tie a knot. I don't want anybody falling asleep, falling out of their chair. <laughs> okay, I think we got it. Don't cut your tails off before you like your bow. Right? Okay, that looks fine. 
<laughs> like, because I've had enough. Okay. Mini glue dots stuck everywhere. My fingernails. <laughs> okay, here we go, guys. Ready for this? We're going to take this and we're going to fold it up. So it's just like this. We're going to fold it up. And this is called like a surprise pop out or something like that. Make sure I've got it up right side up. And we're going to take this and we're going to put it right in here. And this fits just perfectly inside the parameters of this area. And just leave it closed. And if you want to, you could use tear and tape on here too. That might not be a bad idea. Are you ready? What? I know, right? Look at how cute it is. Yes, this is so fun. So I'm going to show you the other one that I made. Oh, I didn't do an envelope. Um, well, we're going to need to do envelopes. But look, I just made one in pale papaya. This says, hello, sunshine. It says, wishing you were here and happy birthday. And this one has the gold polka dots. Same color combination, just a different color card base. Oh, and I used this beautiful gold shimmer ribbon on this card. And like I said, I used that specialty paper, the, the gold and the rose gold for the layer that's under here. So here's this one. Here's this one. I love this. I just think this is a fun summer card. It's perfect for summer birthdays. Um, I like the sentiments in the stamp set because you've just got some make a splash. This would be great for a pool party invitation. Anywhere with you is paradise. Wishing you were here. I thought when we go to Florida again this winter, I could send some cards using the set. Wishing you were here to my friends and family, right? Ah, super cute. Okay, I need some envelopes, so let me grab them. And I always like to have envelopes stamped up, ready to go out. I use a lot of these cards, you guys, for my thank you cards for people that place orders with me. So I always like to have um, a stamped up envelope that I can also, just look at that, I don't know what happened there, that I can send out. And let's do this. I don't know if I can fit all of these on here. Let's just try this one. And this was the stripey one. We'll just do this. Oh, psst, super cute. And we'll do this one. And then how about a little Hello Sunshine? That's going to be cute right on my envelope. Hello Sunshine. We'll just do that right down here. What do you guys think? Is that is that a good idea? And I'm gonna put that one right on the suit. How about like that? That's cute. Okay, so let me get this stuff out of my way here. We will bring this back in. Da -da -da. Here we go. I got some really cute summer birthday cards. I'm excited about that. Remember, this is free with a $50 order. So that's part of our celebration. I used the Sunny Splash stamp set. And then I just grabbed a happy birthday out of the very best occasions. This has Christmas in it. It has um, comfort and love. Miss you. Thinking of you. You make life happy. You make my life happier. Sending you smiles for every moment of your special day. I really like that. And then some Christmas sentiments. And then we had these beauties. This is my kit class for the month of July using the Happiness Abounds bundle. This particular bundle with the dies. And the designer paper hues of happiness. Oh, just get two. Just do yourself. Just don't torture yourself. Just get two packs of the paper for sure. Anywho, there is our class for tonight. Now, I oh, I need to show you where I got my inspiration. Oh, Kimberly O'Brien. Kimberly sent this card. Do you remember me showing this to you last time with the sweet songbirds? Look it. 
This is where I got the idea from. Isn't it just so sweet? I love this card, Kimberly. The bright colors. These are our new in colors. She used the glimmer paper under here and that beautiful metallic ribbon. Oh, so pretty. That's where I got the inspiration for this card. It's the same layout. Just a different stamp set, different paper, different colors. So Kimberly, thank you so much. I always love the cards that you guys send me because I am inspired by them. I get lots of inspiration from those cards. Okay, now I have birthday cards to share with you. You know, the birthday cards, like Steve practically, you know, has a worker's comp injury. Yeah those birthday cards <laughs> if you guys um if you don't have time to stick around to see all of these cards i'm going to share with you i'm probably not going to share all of them tonight but if you don't have time to stick around just know that you can come back and rewatch this anytime you can grab that little bar and fast forward it to where i start where you left off you can always do that this is my current host code if you place an order with me i always appreciate your orders it helps me stay in business and pay my bills and buy head shavers from my husband who may or may not sue me for workers' comp. <laughs> I know, right? But anyways, if your order is under $150, use this code. If it's over, please don't do that. Um, you're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up! I want you to have those. And if you are thinking about putting an order in and your order is ending up at around $100, please join my team. There's a join now button on my blog. You will find um, in the right hand column, it says $99 kit. Click that, all the details there. The link to join my team is there. Join and come have some fun with us. First off tonight, I need to show you the card that Molly made for me. Happy birthday, every piece fits. It says from Molly, to Granny, the card maker of Stampin' Up. Happy birthday. I hope you have a great birthday. I love you so. You do everything with me. I have done things I've never done before. Zoo, earrings, six flags, and so much more. We have so many memories. Let's make more. Love you. Happy birthday. Is that not the sweetest little card ever? Good grief. That is adorable. So, Molly, thank you. Then I got this card from my sister, and I thought this was pretty cool. It's, It's got a little um, die on it with a little pocket here and some ribbon tied around it. And I thought, how cute is that? So I love this. This is that paper I gave away tonight, by the way. So that's pretty. And then we have from Wendy Morse. Oh, my gosh, Wendy. I love the simplicity of this card. Like, it's crisp and clean and... I just, I really like it. It's very pretty. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Very, very pretty. Then from Anne D. Acquisto, look at this beautiful card. Now, Anne, I need to kind of know a little bit about how you made this. I don't know if you used our white um, chalk pen or if you used bleach on here, but it is outstanding and beautiful. Here is stamp and then this is what she did with it on that oh just so pretty right you guys <gasps> and we need to talk <laughs> then look at this one this uses the happiness of bounds and this uses that new set of dies it's like a corner edge die or something i've got them i haven't used them yet but how pretty is this this is from Lori schwint watts so pretty Lori. thank you so much Love this card. Next up, we have Karen Karst. Karen is on my team. Oh, Lori's on my team. Anne's on my team. Karen's on my team. Look at this. I recognize this fold. Yep, card layout from Sarah Simon. Sarah's also on my team. And I love this. We're going to have to make some of these because these are fun. So, and plus, they, they kind of sit up like this. So, you can set them up on your table like that. Very, very pretty. Thank you so much, Karen. Then we have, look at how cute this is from Carrie Champagne. Oh my gosh, I just love this. And this uses the new Scotty Dog punch and stamp set. 
Now, this, um, she's sending me happy birthday wishes, but she's also in my technique club. And she is sending in um, her order form to order her $30 in free product. So that's pretty sweet. Oh, I'm gonna, here, I'm gonna put this back in the card. I'm gonna put that over there. I'm gonna put this. So when you place six consecutive orders in six months with me, six months, once a month at a certain level, you can be in my technique club. And uh, she, Carrie, is turning in her form to get her free loot, $30. She gets to pick whatever she wants. Shella Sams sent me this beautiful card. And how pretty is that? I love this happy birthday. I just love it. Oh, so, so pretty, Shella. Way to go. Look at matching envelope too. Yes, indeed. Lots of these envelopes. We got lots of matching envelopes. This one, oh, so pretty. This is from Ann English. Look at this. I'm going to be sharing a card layout with you soon on this. I've had it sitting ready to be in a video, and I just haven't done it yet. Look how pretty that is. And this is gorgeous. I love it. I love that fold. This, um, if you have bumps on your cards, these packing envelopes, you can just slide into your envelope, and it will pad it so it doesn't tear holes in your envelope. That's exactly what Judy Dempton did here. And look at how pretty this card is. <gasps> oh, so gorgeous. Judy, I love this, love this, love this. Thank you so much. I'm gonna put your note back in here. I do open these up ahead of time and read all of your messages, you guys. So thank you so much. So kind and thoughtful and wonderful. This is an old fashioned birthday card. Look at that, I love it. Thank you so much, Ginny. Ginny is one of my newer members on my team and she ha she is loving it. So thank you so much, Jenny. Next we have Sandy Bennett. Oh, and I thought this was really cute. This is a piece of cardstock and she's got a sticker. It says, my job, it's not that hard. It's to protect your card. It sends good thoughts and cheer from far away and near. Although it's been a lot of fun, toss me out. My job is done. So it's explaining what this is. And then you just throw that away. But I just thought that was so cute. So if anybody would like to make a little sticker like that, you can fast forward the video up here and get all that wording. But look at how pretty Sandy's card is. It's so, just beautiful. I absolutely love it. I loved this Baker's Twine, right? Yeah. Thank you so much, Sandy. And here comes Meg Water. We've got another fun fold, you guys. She always makes the prettiest cards. Look at how cool that is. Love the use of the designer paper. And she used the rectangle dies to cut out these two pieces. And then this covers up that. This is a really easy, fun fold. It's a great way to display, like she's got three different patterns of designer paper here. So thank you so much, Meg. That is absolutely beautiful. This one is from Mary Lynn Weller. Look at this, I love this. Isn't that sweet? And then she's got the butterfly on the inside with the pearls, that's really neat. Thank you, Mary Lynn, I love that layout. Then this one is from Kay Nestor. Look at how cool this is. This is a book, kind of a, well, it's not a book binding. Never mind. <laughs> it looks like it is though, doesn't it? Like the card that we made with the, with the little book binding over here, but it's not. Um, I love your colors. I love your blue ladybug. Like how fun is that? It's your day. Look at how cool this is. And, oh, look at that. This is folded, right? Isn't that cool? I, you can almost make this into an easel card, but isn't that cool? Love this card. That's how it opens. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Thank you, Kay. I, I, obviously, I love playing with it, right? Next up, we have Betty Clark. Oh, look at how stinking cute this is. Betty, Betty, Betty. I love this layout too. You guys, you're getting really good with the fun folds. Look at that. Ah, this is Betty from Oregon. How sweet. That little elephant is just the cutest thing ever. Thank you so much. 
And here comes another old fashioned. Look at she cut those out. Goodness, Kathy Showalter, you did a fantastic job cutting out those orange peels. Yeah, very, very cool. What a beautiful, beautiful card. I love the old fashions. Okay, um, what time is it? It is almost nine o'clock. I am going to stop there, you guys, and let you go. I have some presents. I have some really cute presents to share with you, but I think I'm going to have to wait until next time because I need to go eat, and I know you guys have things to do too. So, did anybody have any questions that I might have missed? Please let me know. I am happy to answer those. Um, I want to thank you guys so much for spending the evening with me tonight. There's no better way. Well, there's no better way. <laughs> to spend your evening <laughs> than stamping, right? Yeah. Well, I'm sure there are some better ways, but I gotta keep that. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. Yeah, here's that, my job. Gosh, these are all just beautiful. Yeah, Anne, I need to know about this. That is intriguing to me. I don't, I don't know quite how you did it. It's beautiful. Anywho, you guys, um, I will share the rest of my birthday cards, and I have some anniversary cards too. I will share the rest of those with you next time. I am not sure that I'm going to be able to be live next week, and here's what's going on. We decided, we were having a, a graduation party for our oldest grandson, AJ. He just graduated high school, and we were, sched we were scheduled to have a party for him this Saturday, and then we came up with this brilliant idea to have a giant pool party because we haven't done one in a very long time. So we're probably going to have like, I don't know, 30 to 40 people here. That's giant for us. And um, I don't know how many people are going to trickle over to Sunday, how long people are going to be here, if I am going to have time to get a Facebook Live ready for you. But um, I'll do my best. I'll try to get it ready during this week so that when Sunday comes, I don't have to spend time coming up with ideas, I can just come up here at seven o'clock and have some fun with you. So she said crafting. Oh, sure. And on, on like an aqua painter, a water painter, oh, or maybe even a blending pen. And that's so cool. I love that card. So anyways, um, I'll, I'll do my best and I'll keep you informed. If you see my posts come up on Sunday that I'm going to be live Sunday night, then you'll know I'll be live. Otherwise, I might be live on Monday or something. We'll see. But anyways, I just wanted to let you know that. You guys have a fantastic week. Enjoy the summer weather. We're supposed to have a beautiful week here in Wisconsin. For those of you wishing for rain, I hope you get some. We don't need any fires, right? We need no more chaos in our lives. None. Okay. Have a great week. Thank you so much. As always, I just so appreciate you spending your evening with me. And Luba says, enjoy the time with your family. Luba, your cards are in the next set of cards. So thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Audrey. Verna, I sure appreciate it. Good night, everybody.